can you guess why I'm excited? I'm, I'm sure you have no idea. Maybe because uh, something called the Mac Studio. I just received the new Mac Studio M3 Ultra and I am so excited to put this to the test. I have spent the last few days playing around with it and my mind is truly blown. And I know yours is going to be too after this video. There are so many different features in with this that we are getting going to get into, but in particular, one I'm really going to focus on in this video is around AI because we love AI, AI, AI. It's all we talk about <laughs> is AI because it's changing everything. And this for building for any AI developers out there is kind of a game changer in my opinion. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna run some large language models on this device and see how it goes. But before we get there, let's talk about what makes this so special. Okay, as you know, AI and machine learning are reshaping the tech landscape. This isn't new, but powerful AI tools demand powerful hardware. And today, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. We're gonna explore Apple's new Mac Studio with the M3 Ultra chip. This features, well, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put the specs right here rather than list them all out because it's pretty incredible. And what's really interesting is it is purpose-built for AI developers. So it can handle complex data processing and more. So what's really interesting though, aside from that, I mean, from blazing fast rendering to unmatched multitasking capabilities, this machine really has it all. And at the core of this Mac Studio is Apple's M3 Ultra chip, which is a powerhouse that also includes a dedicated 32 core neural engine, which I'm very excited about. So I mean, whether you're crunching massive data sets, editing ultra high resolution videos, or even managing simulations, this hardware specifically or is specifically optimized to accelerate complex workflows. So that gives you a little bit of an overview as to what the M3 Ultra has uh, packed inside of it, if you will. And I think we just really need to put it to the test. So to demonstrate how accessible, powerful AI can be with the M3 Ultra, let's use Olama, which is if you haven't used it before, it's a simple intuitive platform to run and test large language models directly on your Mac, which is really cool. So we're gonna go through how to set it up, how to run some large language models and see how it goes, which I'm very excited about. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, so as you can see, I am in olama.com and the first thing we are going to do together is download olama. Olama, it's such an interesting word. Okay, here we go. Well, first, actually, before we do that, I wanna highlight what, what should we run? We can do Llama 3.3, DeepSeek, uh, 5.4, Mistral, and Gemma 3. Let's do Llama. Okay, we clicked on that. You can see here the model, the params, template, license, which is pretty cool. And it gives a bit of history or background on this specific model. Okay, so now what we need to do is simply download to quickly fetch the model. It might make me sign in. Let's see here. Download from Mac OS and we are off to the races, that is. Open it up. All right, let's see this application. Yes, we want to open it. Okay, let me just clear this out so we have a better view. Welcome to Olama. Let's get you up and running with your own large language models. And by the way, as a side note, if you haven't used this before, it is, it's really user-friendly and it's really fun to do. Like you just start, get to start building right away, which is really cool. Next, install the command line, install. Don't test me, okay? Run this command line in your favorite terminal. Finish, oops, where is my terminal? Let me do this. Okay, you can see here I have Llama 3.2 running. All I did since I uh, installing it was just trying to tinker around with it really. I prompted it to summarize the latest tech news. I, and then, it, then I asked, what are some interesting Python projects I can build? I gave some interesting ones, let's see here. Machine learning model, that would be cool. Okay, but this is really interesting and what I wanna get at, which is you can see here in my activity monitor, under memory for Olama, right now it's about a thousand uh, megabytes or one gigabyte pretty much, which is really modest for 256 gigabytes of unified memory, which really shows how smoothly it can handle this. Okay, we are going to do a bigger prompt though. Let's do generate a detailed summary of the last five years of advancements in AI. 
I don't even think it's gonna go up very much. Oh, okay, yeah, a little bit. It's not that much bigger of a prompt. Also, this is crazy how quickly, if we were to sit and read through this, it's, things have changed since 2017. But uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't that much bigger of a prompt, but it did go up a tiny bit, but still, that's really impressive. I'm very excited. Okay, that was a really quick example, but it really highlights just how powerful the M3 Ultra really is and what you can build on it. So the next thing we're gonna do, I just need your help, and I'll talk about this later in the video, because I'm filming this part of the video the following day, uh, because I got tired yesterday and I needed to take a breather for a minute, you know? Anyways, what we're gonna do is we are going to actually go through uh, building a model locally and then continuing to run it, similar to how we did today. So this is kind of like the first step, and then we will we'll follow these steps I'm gonna list here. So first is install Olama's command line, CLI, or use their REST API. And then what we're going to do is start the model server locally using Olama Serve. This is all on their website too, by the way, which is really helpful. Then we are going to integrate uh, our application, so that's why I need your help voting with what to build on the M3 Ultra next. And uh, we're going to build an application on there, something in Python, something really fun, and use a simple HTTP post request to prompt and receive the output directly in the app. So it will kind of look like this in Python as an example, which is pretty cool. So that's what we need to build with Next. We're gonna build and use one of these models. We're gonna build with AI. It's gonna be like very AI driven. And we're gonna do it on the M3 Ultra. But for today, I really wanted to test out the performance and see what was possible. As you know, I had spent the past year, or maybe some of you don't know, depending on how new you are, but I spent the past year studying AI and ML. Uh, at a post-grad and getting certified in that, which was great. It was very hands-on. And sometimes we were running models that were so big, it just really disrupted everything for me. So now with the M3 Ultra, I'm going to be using it a lot because I'm actually, which I can't really share too much about this yet, but I'm going to be taking um, another graduate course or program, I should say, certification that's by a really, really incredible school that you all are very familiar with. I got accepted and I'm going to start that in the fall or late summer, early fall. And having something like this that I feel confident with to build and continue to, to gain more AI and ML skills and actually be like, feeling just 100% confident that no matter what size model I'm running, it, will, it won't have a problem is really exciting. Okay, back to future, back to past TIFF because I'm future TIFF. Okay, that was pretty cool. I mean, with 256 gigabytes unified memory available, the Mac Studio really makes it easy to handle, as we've just seen, running full-sized language models locally without reliance on cloud infrastructure. I mean, it rapidly can process these heavy data sets, and especially compared to previous generations, the Mac Studio with M3 Ultra really reduces inference latency and tasks that once required cloud-based GPUs are now able to be achieved right at your fingertips in real time, interactive AI capabilities, which are essential for practical applications. So it was really fun to test Olama. I think that gave a good sense as to what this M3 Ultra can handle. And that's just like the tip of the iceberg. I mean, when you think about how you can integrate these large language models into your daily workflow, uh, into your applications, different things like that, that you are running, it's so nice to be able to do so without any any issues coming up, which I have faced oftentimes on, on different machines, on different devices, and to be able to feel so confident in running different size models is really exciting. So aside from all the different use cases, video editors, gamers, graphic designers, etc., the AI developer and data science portion of this with dealing with computationally demanding workloads, this Mac Studio with the M3 Ultra isn't just an upgrade in my opinion, it's a massive transformation designed for maximum efficiency, but also speed too. Okay, I hope you enjoyed going through this as much as I did. This was really fun. It is probably the device that I am most excited about in a long time, which, you know, it's, it's because of all these upgrades and the efficiency and speed at which you can run these models is pretty huge for me. And then I mean on the flip side, obviously things like I edit a lot of my videos, a lot of the videos I don't edit. Okay, but aside from what we just went through, there are so many other benefits to this machine. I mean, okay, I'm gonna put up on screen here. I have on my phone, so I need to read it off to you. So for photo editing, you know, faster neural filter and function performance in Adobe Photoshop. And you can see the stats here, it's pretty wild. Then we go do something that we're all interested in, which is scientific analysis faster simulation. I mean, it's it's 
wild, it's wild. Then we go into video transcoding, another huge upgrade, video editing, AI video processing, code compiling. Ooh, what should we code on here first? We tested out some large language models and running them. Maybe we should build something with them. Leave in the comments or maybe I'll do, you know what I'll do? I'll do a poll and put what you want to build with, with this first. Like what, what do you want to do? And do you want to integrate AI into it? Leave in the comments and I will build the most voted project. That'd be really fun to do together. All right, I hope you enjoyed this very candid video. I love just sitting down with you and experiencing things for the first time. I think it's a really great way to do more of an unscripted, unfiltered take on my excitement for, for different things and what we're working on and what we're building. And this, I have to say, is a 10 out of 10. A 10 out of, 100 out of 10, if I would, because it honestly blew me away when I started playing around with it. Anyways, make sure to go check it out uh, and also to check out Olama. That's just like a total side note, but it's something that if you're maybe new into the AI world and you wanna get into it more, it's, it's a really easy way to start building with these LLMs and you don't have to feel intimidated. It's just fun. Let's just go have some fun. All right, thank you all for watching. I will see you all very soon.